Hi everyone, this is James, and you're watching Digital Charcuterie. Special shout out to all of our new subscribers over the past little while. It's great to see this channel grow. Can't do it without you, so thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, give us a subscribe, give us a like, recommend it, whatever you want to do. Let's talk some Star Wars, shall we? Typically, you're going to hear me talk about Star Wars over on the Rebel Scum Podcast YouTube channel, so go over there for full in-depth Star Wars coverage. But this, I thought it would be fun to talk about right here, right now, because, and take this all with a giant grain of salt use a kosher salt or even a himalayan salt before you crack it down that's what kind of salt you're going to want to use here for this one this news is getting crazy over a best bin bulletin they are claiming that famed bounty hunter ig11 is coming back ig88 is known and loved through the mandalorian because of what he did for baby Yoda, a.k.a. Grogu, almost blowing him to smithereens at the end of that first episode, but of course coming up strong and being his savior at the end. And then he blew himself up, and then there's IG-11, who Dave Filoni was on record saying they used IG-88, renaming IG-11, basically IG-88, because... Fans had their own legends and their own stories and mythos of what happened to IG-11 and he did not want to disrupt that. But now a report coming from Bespin Bulletin is saying that IG-11 is actually going to show up in Mandalorian Season 3. Not IG-88, IG-11, the bounty hunter that we do not know much about. He might have died, that might have happened in a Legends novel or something. But reports are indicating that Jawas are going to be coming along and repairing this bounty hunter. And then when that is all said and done and all the repairs are made and he's all fixed up and he looks all beautiful, they're saying that he is going to be a vessel, I suppose, a armor of sorts for Grogu to use, kind of like Hulkbuster, and that will be his Iron Man suit. And apparently he's going to be able to speak with IG-11, just like Tony Stark speaks with Jarvis. Very interesting stuff. I'm not sure if it makes any sense. I'm not even sure how I feel about it. One thing, though, that is certain, your feelings of Book of Boba Fett aside, I really have a lot of faith in Dave Filoni, John Favreau, specifically John Favreau, who, who has sculpted these wonderful stories together. And I, I, I will put my trust in what he's going to develop here with this character and with the usage of this character. That's what's more important is how are they going to use this this uh, deceased droid going forward. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you excited to see IG-11 return after his, you know, standing still in <laughs> Empire Spikes back? IG-88 was really cool until he got blown up. Kapow! Let us know in the comments below. Who are you? I would say this one is just like un chop salt. I wouldn't believe this one, but let's just talk about it anyway. Reports last month indicated that Daisy Ridley has signed on for three more Star Wars film that, films that will focus on a Rey Skywalker trilogy. Now, this is something that I would absolutely be in for. I would totally be cool with that. I want to see the adventures of Rey continue. I've been on record as saying that I thought calling the sequel trilogy the Skywalker Saga, you know, calling it the end of the Skywalker Saga was a mistake. I think the Skywalker Saga should have ended with Return of the Jedi, and then you can open the doors to whatever you want going forward after that, and this could be the Rey Trilogy, the Finn Trilogy, the Poe Trilogy, whatever trilogy you wanted this to be, but instead it was a Skywalker Saga, and that ended, so now we've got to move on with Rey, and where does that take us? This, of course, is coming from Giant Frickin' Robot, uh, and if you know anything about that site, you will know that anytime they release any leak, any sort of information about anything, uh, and it pertains to James Gunn, James Gunn is the first to say, have you not learned anything? You're full of uh, poo. So I don't know if I would totally believe this or not. The only hard evidence they have to support it is that uh, former Vanity Fair reporter Joanna Robinson appeared on the Ringer verse podcast a little while ago and she said that there is rumors she's heard and I'm sure there are rumors I'm sure they've talked about this endlessly why would you not you have all this material of course they're talking about this stuff over in Star Wars land over at Lucasfilm anything is on the table right now I would believe and I would believe Ray returning is one of them but I don't believe Daisy Ridley has signed on for a trilogy at this point in time this could change, but I don't think so. I think there's a lot going on. They have their plate full right now, again, with Mando Season 3, with Ahsoka, with Acolyte, and with this Stranger Things-esque show 
movie that they're making with John Watson. Of course, Rogue Squadron, which I don't think is going to happen, but Rogue Squadron is still on the table. And that possible Taika Waititi movie is still on the table. There is something slated for, I think, uh, December 2025. So there is a lot on the Star Wars docket right now. This Ray trilogy. Look, if someone walks in and says, I'm pitching a, a, a Ray trilogy, maybe that's something that the folks over at Lucasfilm listen to and they go for it. But at this point in time, I don't see Ray coming for three more films, but I would totally be up for it. Would you? Would you guys want to see a Ray trilogy or Ray appear in three more films? I don't know if it necessarily even needs to be about Ray specifically, but if she were to show up and be and, and play a part in it, I think that would be a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to the, the future of Star Wars on Disney Plus, especially because I don't know where it's going to lie in the films, but on Disney Plus, I'm looking forward to it. So let me know what you guys think of the comments below. Do you like Rogu in a Hulkbuster IG-11 attire? And are you up for Rey returning to Star Wars anytime soon? Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.